decapitating dragons. Snicker snack. And with its head, he went galumphing back. Because we just slayed the Jabberwock, everyone. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. What are we doing, guys? Well, in my um, in my conquest to get more jank out, in my plan to jankify everything, we are going to be running Vorpal Sword. Um, that's what we're going to be doing. Um. Does it always work? No. Have I found a way to make it work? Yes. We get two decapitation kills tonight, guys. If you want to watch these decapitation kills, well, I recommend that you stand by. We will sneak those snakes in, and we will go for the kill. Alternate Wednesday, you know I love it. Uh, and you know I love these Demir rogues. Is this alchemy? Nope. It's 100% standard. So breathe easy. But first, I need you to do something for me. Because you're not doing it, guys. I just need you to tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Or else, I'm telling you, the like and subscribe will come and brutally maul you. He may even have a verbal sword himself when he does it. So just click right down there. Just hit the like button for me. I'd love that. Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all the live streaming goodness. We would love to have you there. Somebody just subscribed and won a free pack. I believe it was... Um, who just subscribed and won a free pack? Somebody did. We'd like to give giveaways. We'd love to have you there. You can check out our uh, Discord community for all the latest news and information. Um, and our buddy Facetat is asking where Nickel Nuts won. Nickel Nuts won. That's who won. Nickel Nuts won a free pack by subscribing. Uh, Facetat, you want to send me something? Hit me up on Discord. Hit him with that Discord link, boys. And of course, this deck and all the other ones that I build are available down below on my Aether Hub. So, what are we talking about here? Uh, we're going to make our way back home and learn to fly here. Fly is a very good spell. I think it's underrated. Um, enchant creature has flying for one blue. And um, whenever it deals combat venture in the dungeon, we are doing a little bit of rogue dungeon here. But this is a full rogue set. We do have some non-rogues. But there's a reason that we have non-rogues in this one. So, um, you'll see. Fly is definitely going to get us help. Any way that we can evade blockers... Um, is definitely going to be a, a help here. Um, there's also another card that I forgot here. Any way that we can evade blockers is going to be a super big help here. Uh, Fly is going to be one of them. Shambling Gas. Again, we need um, a little bit of ramp. We're going to need that treasure. We're going to need to sacrifice. We're going to need some fodder for sacrifices. And of course, Shambling Gas is the lady to help us out there with treasure generation, negative one, negative one for early removal and all that stuff. That's what we can do. Now, here is um, the item of the hour here. Vorpal freaking sword. Has anybody ever been able to make it work? I don't know. I haven't seen it yet, but I have. I've done it. Um, we will Vorpal people. Plus two and death touch. Uh, one black to go down, two black to activate, and then three black and five. And then when it deals damage to somebody, they immediately lose the game. We don't even win the game. They lose the game. How do you like that for, um, for flavor? Because we've cut their head off. Um, that's what it does. Vorpal sword on a critical hit immediately severs somebody's head uh, in D&D. So that's what Vorpal sword is. Um, and we will kill those Jabberwocks. We're going to be able to do this, guaranteed. We're also going to make our creatures unblockable, which means that uh, we're going to get in there no matter what. Negate. A little bit of protection for you. Um, not too much protection, but a little bit. We want to, if, if they're going to be running uh, removals, if they're going to be running board wipes, um, anything that they, they want to do to, to try to stop us or hit with special things like that, hit negate. I don't think we need to run removal as so much negate. Um, we're going to need counter spells. So if you want to put in something like drain energy in here, if you want to really, um, uh, if you want to do something for alchemy, you can put drain energy in there and that'll work fine in that slot. You want team Elysian. Oh, this purple snake, just like Kishi, the purple snake. Anybody know who Kishi, the purple snake is? Um, this purple snake, 
um, is a Snack Rogue, one blue and one, two one. Yuanti can't can't be blocked as long as it's attacking alone. So if she goes on a solo mission, she will kill. And whenever she does combat damage, venture in the dungeon. So fly and a Yuanti Malizian is double dungeon. You can get to the dungeons really fast like that, especially when you're gonna guarantee that you're gonna hit because it can't and it can't be blocked if it's attacking alone. Lost Mind of Fan Lever you can do in two hits. Um and then, of course, Tomb of Annihilation, in case you need to kill somebody. Or, I really like Dungeon of the Mad Mage for this one, because I like the eventual Goblin Bazaar, where we can um, uh, we can create treasure tokens, we can ramp more, we can gain a life, we can really start scrying, and then we can hit Mad Wizard's Lair and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of things we can do with this. So, think about what you're, where you're gonna, you're gonna, what path you're gonna head out first, what you're gonna need, and start going in the dungeon with flying you onto Malizian. Uh, Deadly Dispute. <laughs> Sacrifice your own creatures. Sure. If you absolutely have to crack Vorpal Sword open, you can. You can, uh, for if you're in an emergency, it's not recommended, but you can. Uh, Shambling Ghast, of course, is a great target for sacrifice. Anything that's going to get removed, I usually just sacrifice it anyways. If they're going to play removal on it or board wipes, I usually have one of these ready just so I can do it. You can also crack open treasures. Remember, you can sacrifice a tr uh, artifact um, or a creature, and a token artifact is a uh, treasure. An artifact is a treasure token. Um, so, no problems there. Expedition Skulker. This is probably the only one that people are going to disagree with me on this, and I agree. I probably should have put in Suspicious Stowaway. I like that Esp Expedition Skulker is um, so powerful. I like that she's a 2-2 and almost guaranteeing to have Death Touch. I kind of like her as a blocker. If you want a Suspicious Stowaway, I'm not mad at you. Throw a Suspicious Stowaway in there. We can sideboard them. Sure. That's no problem at all. Sideboard your suspicious stowaways. These can't be blocked either. Um, and then she gets more powerful. Um, and then, of course, you can draw cards and discard cards so you can kind of go through it. Um, the reason I like her, again, is for receiving attacks. Uh, putting fly in her, receiving those angels, receiving those dragons when you have death touch. That's kind of, I just put her up there as kind of a death touching wall. Um, and if that doesn't work, we have Infernal Grass for a little bit of removal, instant removal, and losing life. That's okay. We don't need to have too much life to uh, go in. So remember I say you should always do something good, and you should always do something great. Uh, or at least two things good. So the deck has a little bit of variety. We're not just relying on Vorpal Sword to get those kills. We also have Soaring Thought Thief. This will mill. Um... We're not going to mill them out. This is not a mill deck. What we really want is to get our rogues to be more and more damagey. Because when we're throwing in a Yuanti Malizian or something like that, or we're flying in and they can't block us, uh, if they have eight or more cards in their graveyard, they do more damage. Additionally, he will also charge up uh, Nighthawk Scavenger because Nighthawk Scavenger's power is equal to how much you have in your graveyard. Um, so he will make uh, Nighthawk Scavenger more powerful because he's a rogue. He can also flash in 1-3. He's a good blocker. He's flying all around sell a card from Zendikar. He used to be a pain in the ass. Not seeing that much play anymore. We're really not going to mill. This is not a mill deck. This is like we're not going to win state off a of mill. Um, two hero downfalls right there. Um, again, removal to taste. I would put at least four removal and maybe you want to do four um, counter spells just to kind of control the battlefield a little bit. Um, if you want to do a big board wipe too, you could. You could throw in something like um, Perilous Path. Um, that would be fine as well to throw in there. Nighthawk Scavenger, we talked about two black and one. He is a vampire rogue. Um, and we have some other vampires in here. Vampires always fill in the slot of rogue very well. Uh, one plus uh, star, which of course star is the number of card types among uh, the graveyard. Again, if we're milling and we're killing, we're going to fill up their graveyard. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of lifelink. Um, again, a good um, a good blocker as well to receive those angels and dragons, which of course we're going to be running into a lot. And then of course we have Henrika Dum Dumnika Dumnathi, Henrika the Infernal Seer. Why do I have her? She's not a rogue. She's just a regular vampire. I'll tell you why. 1-3 flying. We get to choose one at the beginning of our combat. Each player sacrifices a creature. Very good for creature removal if they only have one creature. I'll usually sacrifice some fodder like uh, even an Expedition Skulker or a Shambling Gas or even an extra Yuan T. Um, Henrika will sacrifice. We can draw a card, which helps with our card draw a little bit. And of course, we transform her. She's a 3 4 Death Touch, and she gets her ultimate ability, and she is a flying Death Touch and Lifelink. Now, you see here, guys, we have a lot of flying and Death Touch and Lifelink. Then, 
if we want to do a big attack with flyers, because remember, we have flyers here, we have death touching here, we have death touching here, flying here, so we can add flying or death touch pretty much to every single one of our creatures, which means that if they don't have the blockers to deal with us in the sky, between Soaring Thought Thief giving all the rogues plus one and Henrika Dominica charging up everybody, uh, plus one, any creature with flying death touch or lifelink gets plus one, I think she works as a great kind of lord card for the rogues. Even though she's not a rogue herself, I think she fills out that role fantastically. And of course, we can run Zareth the Trickster. Um, you don't need to. He's probably, he's probably the most tricky one here. Um, he's a nice trick, especially if they're running a lot of dragons or powerful stuff later on. Merfolk Road, 4-4 four, four Flash, legendary creature. Um, of course, he has that one black, one blue. You pay two and two, an unblocked attacking rogue you control to its owner's hand. So again, you can do a Yuanti Melizian that was unblocked when it attacks alone. Then um, you put it into the play. Uh, battlefield tapped and attacking so as he's going to guarantee he's going to get a hit when he gets a hit target creature from the graveyard onto the battlefield uh, from their graveyard onto the battlefield under your control fantastic if you've been milling them if you've been killing them you can grab somebody's uh, angel of the angel of uh, angel of destiny or or inferno of the star mounts or whatever uh, righteous valkyrie or whatever you want to grab out of the graveyard you can grab it with Zareth. really really good stuff and of course just a nice flash creature uh, in case you just want to flash in a nice 4-4 four, for four yourself. Eight islands, two Hive of the Eye Tyrants. I know he's got some graveyard hate, but eh, why not? Um, eight swamps. We're a little bit heavier on the swamps than the islands. We don't need that many islands. We really need swamps to make sure that we can trigger, especially on that ultimate Vorpal there. Uh, and four Clearwater Pathways. Mana is going to be to taste. If you want to do some other pathways, that's fine. Um, you can do it that way. Uh, check it out here. Pretty cheap deck overall, 2.2. I wouldn't call it aggro, but it's right on the edge. It's right between mid-range and aggro. We have our lovely Demir backs, 22 creatures, 17 of them rogues. Um, the only one that are rogues is, are not rogues is Henrika and the zombie. 11 instants, 2 artifacts, 3 enchantments, 22 lands total. Again, we're skewing probably double the amount, almost double the amount of black than blue. So that's where we're headed into right there. If we're looking at Horizontal Gang right here, um, he's the only five we have, but he really is going to, the only usefulness that he has is really flashing out at four. So I would really say that he's kind of one, two, three, four. I would say that that's probably more of an accurate depiction. And of course, Vorpal Sword is way over here uh, as being ultimately powerful. Um, a lot of people don't have artifact removal. And with the extra card draw and other stuff that we're going to have, we have Suspicious Stowaway in our sideboard in case you want to do it. Um, do it that way for a little bit of extra card draw. You can improve it like that. It is a very useful deck. We have Flying in the Air, Death Touchers with Henrika Dominica being the Lord. We have Zareth going in and stealing. We have a lot of powerful creatures sneaking. And of course, we have the Decapitation um, ability there to just instantly win the game if one of our sneaky assassins gets back the past the wire and he just gets in there and... Ooh, it's the slow knife you have to worry about. All right, so we're going to hit it in Diamond. We are actually winning games in Diamond right now. Uh, Diamond Alchemy, I prefer the Alchemy Q, but this is not an Alchemy deck. It's a standard deck. Let's get into it, boys. Ooh, coming out the gate with a forced mulligan. I'm sure my first hand is going to be bad, so we'll see here. Well, I never had a timer on it, driver, because nobody ever did it, so I'll put a timer on it now. Yeah, that's a mulligan right there. Thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> What's up, uh, Ripley? Ooh. Um, I think Henrika Dominica's got a... We're going to hold off on her. There we go. Sorry, God Thief. Nickel Nut, subscribe with Prime. Thank you, my guy. Welcome. What's Boggles? Uh, no, we already have a removal. We don't need another one. Um, 
Soaring Thought Thief. Yeah, we can block him. I don't really care. Yeah, kind of. That's the strategy, anyways. Um, that's kind of the idea. So let's create a treasure token. There we go. He's kind of mana screwed, isn't he? Somebody must have played this because I've seen this deck a whole bunch. Somebody must have played this. Um, Shalane needs to die. Need to draw cards. Need to do that. I'll say this, he might be playing Mono White Life Game, but he is playing fast, so there's at least that. And he's also mana screwed, which I can uh, which I can appreciate. Have I done Golgari Wolves? I have. I haven't done it again in a while, but I have done it. It has happened. There we go. Let's draw a card with Temple of Dumathion. Right, we have our counter spells ready to go here, just in case. Oh yeah, for sure. Hit me up, Face Tat Joe. Where did you come from? And where did you go? Where did you come from, Face Tat Joe? Ba not ba neat rock and on Joe. Somebody hit them bars, by the way, guys. I need you to hit them bars for me. Oof. Gain one live. Let's try to do this one now. Alright. Selesnia wolves. Okay. so much goddamn life man there's so much freaking life gain in this freaking deck freaking meta right now so much goddamn life gain in it oh all right so what is this this is six seven i need one more mana and i can get the kill shot i can get the kill shot with one more mana if you can believe that with one more mana i can get the kill shot there we go hit um target creature can't you know what? Do we want it? If he swings in with everything, he could he could up this, and that would be five, um, six, seven. I could only block one of them on the ground. That would be um, that would be five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Never seen a Vorpal Sword hit. I could guarantee it with the treasure. Or I could lock him out. Let's go for the Vorpal hit. Just for to style. Let's go for the Vorpal hit just to style. 
<clears throat> Inquisitor Captain? Yeah, that's gonna kill me. Probably gonna kill me. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not here. He didn't get enough mana to boost up. Oh no, he's dead now. Yeah, he's dead now. That's a Vorpal kill right there. I just decapitated him. Yeah, that's a Vorpal kill right there, guys. Oh yeah, I made the right choice. I did it. Oh my god, I finally did it. It was all worth it. Decapitation kill on Mono White Life Gain. Poggers, man. Rip. That guy could not be happy. Absolutely not be happy. He threw out all the kind of mono white. And I told you, man, it's the slow knife that you got to watch out for. That's what Talia Al Ghul told us. You know what I mean? You got to watch out for the slow knife. Um, now I have to check. Yes, I was recording. Excellent. I would have been real upset if I wasn't recording. Freaking Vorpal kill, man. I gambled and won. Whew. That's what it's all about, boys. Gambling and win. Vorpal kill created by Raven. Oh, I actually did it. Might be the first time anybody's caught that on camera. It's like an elusive burb. Against mono white life gain, of all things. Oof, felt good. Feels good, man. Zalo Beast was probably microwaving macaroni and cheese and didn't see it. That's what he's going to tell me. Everything I dreamed it would be. Yeah, it couldn't have been set up more perfectly, my guy. Absolutely could not have been set up more perfectly. Um, I can keep this. I don't need this many flies. Well, we got it captured in 4K here. Well, 1080p at least. There's the sword. We did it, boys. We can retire. Don't I have to give Nick a code because he subbed? Um, who subbed? Who who subbed? Who was the first one to sub tonight? Yeah, he's he's owed a code. The next person to sub is was going to get a code. Hit me up on uh, Discord. I'll get you a code. Let's do Twisted King. Let's do Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Let's go crazy here, man. Let's go crazy. Burgers. Dominica. Um, draw a card, lose one life. Swing in. The Blango. Yuanti Malizian really doing a. Uh, putting in work. Work, 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 work. Uh, target creature can't attack you until your next turn. Yeah, I think I actually might want that one more. And let's scry two. Um, I don't think I want either of these. Hollow 
priest. Mana for the mana god. <clears throat> land for the land throne. Is that what you want to say, man? Mana for the mana god and land for the land throne. Um. Hey, Nick. I'll give you your code in a second. I see you popped out there. Um. Each opponent sacrifice. Let's transform Henry Dominica Dumnathy. Um. I don't really care if he's unblockable or not. Let's do it. There you go. Inquisitor Captain Capitan Natmaster Egypt. Is this the same guy? Can somebody check that? Is this the same guy? No, nope, that's not the smart thing to do. goal covers it. Every goal is the hole. Oof, that's a hard hit right there. It's a hard hit right there, guys. He's gonna gain, gain. Mm. I don't think there's gonna be a return to it, Mr. Frodo. I don't have enough to vorp him. If only. If only we could vorp them. Well, I can Henrika Dominica trick us here. He's not a rogue. Attacking rogue, you can throw it to its owner's hand. So, how much do I need? I need five. And I'll have two left. No, I can't flash him in. So I'll have to flash him in on the on the backside. When he swings in with somebody else, I'll have to flash him in. Like Voice of the Blessed or something. Oof, that sucks. Okay, so if I take 13, now I'll take 15, so let's block him with that. And if it's a mana, we win, and it's not a mana. It is not a mana, ladies and gentlemen. Is not a mana. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Um, so let's do this. Let's do no attacks and turn. We would have been able to. We would have been able to murder him again if we would have been able to do that thing. You know that thing. If we would have been able to get a mana, we would have been able to hit another decapitation. Another decapitation event. You 
doing that thing you do. Let's see if he does it. He's gonna do it. Exactly to zero. Oof. Oof. No, I needed a block to live that one out. One shy, ladies and gentlemen. One shy. You know, if I would have uh, not done the no attack and done a mana treasure instead, cards for the card throne. That's pretty good. Uh, I would have been this close to getting them. But, I mean, um, you, know, you know the shuffler's got to balance me out. You know it has to do it. GG though, man. I mean, one away. Um, hey, look, it's Elspeth. <sighs> this is not a good hand. That's a worse hand. Um, that's a fucking worse hand. That that'll have to do. Um, Zareth can go. Keep, we can drop Zareth. I think we gotta drop Vorpal too. I don't think Vorpal's doing us any favors for that early on in the game. It's a late game to play. It was very close. I mean, I, I live for the thrill, you know? Tokyo Gringo, I know him. Um, I know him. He's actually, I think he's a villain. Um, we know Tokyo Gringo, why, right? Tokyo Gringo. We know him. I know Tokyo Gringo. That name rings too many bells for me. Tokyo Gringo. I think, I, I, I guarantee you he's a villain. I know that name. Let's see if he recognizes me. Hello. Yeah, Tokyo Gringo. That's right. That's right. We do. We, I knew we know him. I know we know. See if I would have hit last last game if I would hit Goblin Bazaar. Um, if I would hit Goblin Bazaar instead of um, Twisted Caverns, I'd have won. There's no way of knowing that though. You know what I mean? Hit him with the hello again. See if he recognizes me. Ooh, angel fire. Okay. stuff than that, than a mana right now. Divine Purge, wow. Bit of a waste there, but sure, yeah, I mean, if you feel it, man, you feel it. swing he's playing numbskull stick <laughs> that's pretty funny man that's pretty pretty funny uh, we definitely want to do it this time I bet he's going to purge me again. Adult gold. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of adult gold. Ooh, and an angel fire ignition on top of that. Look at that. Yeah, you want to get them people out of there, bro. You want to get them people out of there. Scry 2. He's playing it better than dumb. Wow. That's rough, buddy. Yeah, you basically play white control with red dragons. I mean, it's kind of the idea. Onslaught. Oh, I don't know why it took him that long to do that, but that'll do it. That will do it. GG. Good job, Tokyo Gringo. Never mind. Never bothers about losing to a Gringo there. Um. Still the best card in the format. Which one? Uh, Goldspan. Yeah, one of them. One of the best cards in the format. Ninkasi. I'm not looking forward to a guy that high in diamond, man. He's on his grind right now. He's grinding diamonds. Um, Ninkasi. Um, yeah. I mean... For a meme deck, it's doing pretty good, bro. I mean, the wor probably the one of the worst things you could try to do is get that uh, get that victory, get that decapitation. But is this fucking top ten? No, of course not. Um, it's fun though. I mean, I the thrill of decapitating your opponent with the Vorpal Sword is is well worth the effort. Um, He saw it. He's just giving me shit. He's just giving me shit because that's, that's what he does, you know? That's what he does, man. Uh, let's try this. Let's try it. We're going slower. He's doing, he's doing control. I think it was the crazy way that you said Jay at the end of your comment that um, seemed a little bit, <clears throat> shall we say, <clears throat> um, uh, you're like, yeah, this seems to be doing really well. Jay sure is doing really good, isn't it, buddy? Like... All right, man. <laughs> well, if we can find a Vorpal Sword, we can win. That, uh, we have enough right here. We have six. Um, sure are doing a good job getting those wins in, aren't you, pal? You got to hit that P real hard. Hell. Um, 
So let's swing with the Yuanti Malaysian Carbango. Right. Uh, create a treasure token. I don't know why Cat Jam won't work, man. I wish Cat Jam would work for your pleasure. It's unclear as to what is going on right now. Cleric class. I'm going to gain a little life there. I've got this big boy right here. Oh, okay. I'll find it. I'll find it then. He's trying to do tokens, man. That's what he's trying to do. Scry two. Yeah, we'll take Deadly Dispute then fly. Sure. Deadly Dispute would be great. And turn. I think that's the one I used, my dude. I think that's the one I used. There's the scar. There is the scar, ladies and gentlemen. So let's dead this. Oh, let's get rid of Cathar's call. He's got to feel the ruin, so he's probably going to catch that. Card. Oh, what is he doing here? He's doing a VOB. Okay. He's just going to do a simple VOB. He's going to do two VOBs. That's not good. I really need my uh I really need my sword, guys. What are my chances I can get my sword out? There it is. Well, he's either got removal or he doesn't. He's either got removal or he doesn't. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it is. He's got removal or he doesn't have removal. Yep, there it is.
Nah, he's either got it or he doesn't. He's either got the remover or he doesn't. And of course he's going to have it because, you know, magic cards can't let me have a win. Cannot let me have a win. What's he going to pop me with here? What's he going to pop me with here? He's going to do that. He don't even have enough mana to hit the resurrection. Yep, I told you. I told you, my dudes. He's going to have the removal. I, I told you he's going to have the removal. I guaranteed you that he's going to have the removal. I guaranteed you he was going to have the removal. I guaranteed you he was going to have it. And, of course, I don't have any negates. That's why we have negate in the deck. For that very reason. I guaranteed you that he was going to have the direct removal, bro. It was going to be the last card in his hand. It's going to be the last fucking card in his hand. There's Zareth. Um, I, can't, I can't do anything. I can't win. Um, so if I activate him... I'd have to put the fucking the thing down. Uh, that's going to be four. I wouldn't have enough. I wouldn't have enough. I told you he was going to have removal. He's going to have another one, too. Watch this. He's going to have another direct removal, too. He's going to have another fucking direct removal. He's going to get indestructible. Watch. Indestructible. So now he can swing in and I can't even kill him. I told you guys. I fucking told you. I fucking told you. I said there's no way in hell that I'm going to get this off. No way in hell I will be able to get this off. It will not, cannot let me. Cannot fucking let me do it. It will not. He could have had any card in the whole fucking deck. He had direct removal. The one thing he needed to protect himself. And did I have any negates? Nope. I had no negates. I, 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 it was as, 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 as clear as day I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Zarather, Tank Roberts, how you doing? Chemax, 31, Golgari, Golgari Tori, Golgari, Golgari Tom, Bad Optics, how you doing? Um, yeah, we can, we can go with this. There's a, there's a counterspell. I forgot what they look like. Damn. Montreal is covered in snow for the year. Foretold. Swing in. This is Golgari removal again. 
that's all we're seeing right now is just heavy removal control decks which is sad because it's a discard destruction and that's foretold that's probably a doomscar which is going to hit right now you know um as you do whoops misplayed that Tagrid's Lantern. That's basically what we're running into right now, boys. Um, is just wipe. There's no reason to do anything. Just deny full board state. Deny full board state. Make sure you have a learn card to get mascot ex exhibition and man lands. That's the best strategy there is right now. He's got another one. Lantern of the Lost, what does that do? Oh, it's a graveyard hate. Okay. That's the anti Lear. It's the anti Lear tech. That's interesting. hurt the damage I was about to put down, but okay. Revitalize. He's going to draw a card. He's going to draw into probably removal or board wipe here. Alright, well we have a UN Team Malaysia in here. I mean, you guys see me. You you see me play, and you see I can accurately, pretty much accurately call what's going to happen. Like, there's not really a lot of surprise. Um, What is he waiting on? That's what I want to know. What is he waiting on? He's going to scar it. Okay. Malizian. Try this. Malizian and Sword. If he wants removal, I'll deadly him. We're at six, he's gonna destroy target, yeah. Running out of running out of cards here. We're 
We're getting real close to, um... We're getting real close to rotation. I mean, not rotation, but new set. And that's why things are so rough right now. That's why things are so rough right now. Uh, create a treasure token. And then each opponent lose one life and I gain one life. So you got a board wipe. He got a board web? No, he doesn't. All right. Sanch. Sanch gets the panch. Um, and we recover a little bit of our terrible luck there. We'll try one more, and if it goes long, we'll cut it. The meta is locked in. So if you want to hear my tinfoil hat theory, do you want to know the real reason behind Alchemy, what I think? Alchemy cards release a month after a set, okay? I think that the game data peaks... The first week or two after a set drops, people get bored and they leave. They need something, to, and then the meta is set for another three months and it just drops off to the Sweat Lords and it becomes unfun. Um, and I think they needed something mid set release to shake it up for Arena because I'm pretty sure that like it's like a wave. Like it goes like set release down, set release down. So if you have kind of a middle point, um, where you can uh you can kind of just um dragons oh tormenting burst oh interesting yeah if you have kind of a middle point where you can kind of boost change the meta in the a month later um you can um uh, draw people back to the game with new cards so it's like a mini set release it's like a bonus 30 cards or whatever. And you can draw people back to the game. You get the numbers up again. Otherwise, you're just peaking four times a year. At this point, they can peak eight times a year. That's my real theory behind... Um, that's my real theory behind alchemy. That's the real alchemy reasons. Forest Whelp. I know it's Fearsome Whelp. I like mispronouncing things. Uh, let's do this. Sword Thought Thief. Okay, let's do this. Swing in. Alright. You were just hoping there would be more changes in alchemy? Yeah, we all were, my guy. We all were. Rack and blast. Okay. Bit of a bit of a strange. Uh... They they were going to, and they said no after the Grand Prix. After the Grand Prix, and that's what we ended up with. Um, let's do Uanti Milizian and Expedition Skulker. I'm going to use Henrika Dominica. Um, two, I'm going to sacrifice somebody for her. Each opponent lose one life and a gain one life. And, um, Razor Cut. Edgy name, I like it. But no, I think that's the real reason is draw people back to the game a month after set release. Like, because Kamigawa Alchemy doesn't come out until, like, March. So, they are. They're going to. It's going to happen. Just not yet. <laughs> just not yet. Fears and well. Oof. I'm making cheap cards over here, man.
there's gold span dragon I mean adult gold and another whelp Lawrence whelp no nope, I'll take it We'll take it. Okay, we can get another Vorpal off here. Unless they kill everybody. We can get another Vorpal off here. It, I mean, it's going to change. I think, I think they're still feeling it out. And honestly, everyone's really terrible reaction to Alchemy first hitting, hitting, the, uh, hitting the showroom floor really probably didn't help very much either. Um, I'm sure that was not good overall um, of, of alchemy just absolutely being received like trash and people hating it uh, I'm sure that changed the calculus of it somewhat In before burn removal next card. He doesn't have enough. He won't have enough blockers. Yeah. Am I a visual novel type of guy? I am, in fact. I do enjoy the, the occasional visual novel every now and again. Red Dragon, four damage to each opponent. Alright, we got another sword kill in, boys. Decapitating dragons. Snicker snack. And with its head, he went galumphing back. Because we just slayed the Jabberwock, everyone. There you go. Two in one stream. Very nice. I knew we'd get it eventually if the, the shuffler would cooperate. So, boys, we're going to leave it right there. you got to see a little bit of sword jank. Double... Sword Jank. Have you ever seen it once? No, you just saw it twice. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm happy to present that to you. Cut off it that dragon's head. Absolute dragon slayers. Um, until next time, guys, the word of the day is going to be Vorpal. Vorpal is going to be the word of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, I've been Jay Villain, and you've been...